Hello everybody, Louis here and let's talk OOP. So the first question is, what is object-oriented programming? OOP is a computer programming paradigm. It's a programming paradigm that's based on the idea that everything is an object. And an object is nothing but something that encapsulates data and functionality. There are many object-oriented programming languages out there. C Sharp is one of them, Java, C++, Visual Basic, JavaScript, Python, and many others. So what's an object? Essentially, an object is everything a system cares about. For example, let's say you're writing an application for a library. You're going to care about books and customers. If you're writing an application for a car shop, you care about cars and mechanics. Or maybe you're writing an application for a coffee shop, then you care about coffee and menu items or maybe bikes for bike shops, or guitars for guitar stores. Um, anyways, you get the idea. Anything your system cares about, that is an object. Yes, every little thing your system cares about. The classic definition, however, states that an object is an instance of a class. Which leads us to the question, what is a class? Well, a class is everything a system cares about. Yeah, I know. So let's go over the definitions here. An object is an instance of a class. And a class is an abstraction of an object. And now you may be asking yourself, um, all right, but what is abstraction? And that's a great question. So an abstraction is essentially the idea of detaching the attributes that describe something from the something itself. It's a hard concept to explain, but for example, when you hear the word color, you're not necessarily thinking of red, green, blue. You're just thinking of the meaning of the word color. When you hear the word person, you're not necessarily thinking of your favorite politician. You're just thinking of a generic person, a generic human being. Someone has a name, a gender, two arms, two legs, and etc. Likewise, when you hear the word car, you're not necessarily thinking of a Lamborghini or a Porsche, you're thinking of something big, something that has doors, four wheels, and you can use to drive places. So the idea here is that abstraction is the generic idea behind a thing. So let's go back to that question, what is a class? Yes, a class is everything a system cares about, but a class is a blueprint that shows the computer how to build an object. Does that make sense? I hope it does, because in the next video, we're going to jump on Visual Studio and write our first class. I'll see you there.